Hey, Saskia here, back again with Claire from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue. And we're checking in the last two of the girls. So what happened is the trash truck came, around, came by. It was so noisy, so we wanted to pause and then get back to it. And then, of course, we accidentally uh, ended the video. And I don't know how to put two videos together, which I'm going to learn, promise. Anyway, so here we are with the last two cutie pies. And this one is just adorable. And this is Claire's favorite as well, this little one. <laughs> Just precious. That's Isabella. Why don't and you keep her, Claire? I take the ancient geriatric, decrepit, yeah. three-legged, Oh, you deserve a, a yeah, young yeah, guinea yeah. pig. I'm good. I'm good. I've got a full house. <laughs> I have three human kids. I know. We all have a full house. We, we all have do. a full house. Um, we actually at the rescue always have a full house, but um, I make space, I reserve space for pregnant and sick guinea pigs right now so that's the only ones that we're taking in are the pregnant ones and the sick ones because they you know I don't want them going to be adopted by the public because it's just not a good situation whereas here is going to be much better for them um, a lot of times also the public just isn't aware that, that at three the, weeks the babies if yes. they have male babies they can breed with the mom so exactly. they think they're doing a good thing and they got a cute little guinea pig and they have three week old guinea pigs and then boom the yeah. mom's pregnant they and didn't it realize all and over and, and then, then get, I get the call. We yeah. get the call. Yeah. Or they go and dump, you know, or a, yeah. thirty guinea pigs at the shelter and yeah. there we go again. Yeah. So we are really our primary goal is education but also just stopping the uh, the breeding really. I think is what it comes down to. Yeah, that will stop. I put an end to at least the breeding of that lot. So getting those females out of the circulation. Um, so yeah, here yeah, they are. They're so cute. They're so precious. So these are the last two of the of that big batch. And also wanted to show, um, introduce all these girls to you because this happens a lot. It, it was about two and a half weeks since the last big group that came in, and since then we've taken in more piggies actually. Um, and we never take in more than we actually have space for. So right now, and this is actually always the case, we're always full and when we get an adoption, a space becomes available. So I mean, kind of saving that space for emergency intakes like this one. And um, that's a good policy because, you know, whenever we have a little bit of space, there comes another big group and it's the responsible thing to do. Yes, absolutely. That's when, you know, some people get into trouble taking in more, animals than they can actually you know physically handle financially handle so they we're going to show you their house we got their whole little house set up and i got some snacks here figured out for them and i wanted to mention that the pepper here yummy yummy green pepper um a lot of people tend to take this part out which i always wonder why that is and then i actually looked it up and it's because online a lot of some websites actually say that you have to take this out because they can choke on the seeds and you know the seed is really those seeds are not hard i can even just like you know, take one apart just with my nails and if guinea pigs are able to eat like really rough hay and they are able to just not choke on that and just you know munch it uh, with those back molars you know they're really super sharp then seriously this is not gonna gonna harm them so and i've been feeding this forever in a day and i've never ever had a guinea pig get sick or uh, choke or anything from this so don't throw it away it's good food okay all right so let's put the ladies in their in their house in their new house all right let's follow me Hi. I didn't get a chance to totally clean this cage out yet, unfortunately, but it's tomorrow's cleaning day, so it's gonna be okay. Hi, my little one. Hi, little one. Here's the little boy, Toledo. Sir Keaton, keep an eye on him, but he's doing much He's much perkier. Yesterday he was almost lethargic. His nose was just down in the shavings. Um, and he's got this strange bloat, even though he's really skinny. And he's got the hair loss all over his belly and his sides. But um, we're going to keep an eye on him. But he looks so much better than yesterday. So that's Toledo. 
was thinking maybe put him with uh, Triscuit and Casanova. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen him nursing or trying to nurse on anyone. Yeah, he's a little old. I know. Come here. I know. It's okay. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. And now I actually very rarely cut up veggies when it's a big group like this because <laughs> they can all share and it's actually fun to watch them all munch on the same cucumber. But these are a little skittish, so I doubt they're gonna actually. Uh, yeah, they need a little time they to need a little time to, Yeah. Oh, you're being very brave. It's all yummies. Thank you.